morning and welcome back to my channel if you are an existing subscriber and welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Pre, and today I'm going to be doing uh, my birthday shoot. I didn't do one last year so I decided to you know, get one because it makes me feel special in a way and I'm going to be doing two looks. One of them is an Edo mini bridal look shot and the second one is like a very pretty look. Anyways, come with me. Okay, so this is my stylist for the day and the designer of my second look, also known as my sister, JL's Fashion. Make sure you follow her on Instagram and patronize her. So I'm off to do my makeup now. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is my uh, makeup artist. Her name is Melody and I recently just found out about her. I can't wait to see how the house goes. <laughs> So my makeup was almost two hours, although the makeup artist was really fast and patient. She did a look that blended really well with my skin and could go with the two outfits. And guys, when I say this look eight, I mean, I knew I was a beauty, but this was really a discovery. I absolutely loved this look. After the makeup, I proceeded to start dressing up for the first outfit. The photographer wanted to shoot the Edo look first, so I started dressing up. Thanks to my mom and sister for lending me this wrapper. And after the wrapper, I started putting on the other elements of the outfit. This is a beaded top that, you know, an Edo woman would put over the wrapper to cover the shoulder area. This is a replica though. This is not the original one. I mean, my mom used to have the original one, but I think she gave us one with a smile. We lost it or something like that. I don't remember. But I know that we used to have the original one at some point. So next up was the beaded bracelet, which I was going to use for my wrist. But it was a little too big. So I ended up using it for my ankle instead. After this, I put the necklace on, the beaded necklace on. I like to layer it so that it gives like this kind of full appearance. This that also helps me gel my hair so that hair strands would, you know, not be out of place. And then she helps me put on the cap or the crown. Initially, I wanted to go for the real bridal hair piece called Okoku. It looks like this, but it was quite expensive. So I just, you know, changed my mind. Luckily, my mom had this crown thingy. So I just, you know, used it as a substitute for that. Okay, so this is the first look. Why did I need to choose that? Edo? Well, I missed them being for my vacation and you have said, okay, how do I mark you? And I said to do this. How do I look though? Is it nice? It's not a technique. I think I look like an Edo princess. If I do say so myself. <laughs> Alright, we're in the earrings now. What's the rest of you guys? <laughs> What do you think? I feel very funny because it feels like I'm a child again going for cultural day. But yeah. It feels interesting. Yeah, it talks with your culture there. Okay. I think the look is kind of coming together. What do you think? My style. It's me now. <laughs> okay. okay, so. Replaced with the original coral base thanks to my sister. I bought this one actually for 300 for me. Small, small. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to use to cover your mouth. Yeah, maybe you go on there for my mouth. Where's the phone? It's the truth. This for dance night. The amount is for things. So should I remove this one from me? Yes. Yeah, I suppose it's... Now you make me buy 200 at you. Did you tell me? 300 there. Gone. Let's see, my dude. I want you to give me your hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if not, you say you help me, so... Shout out to my sister, she's a real dude. So, I don't think it will be like this. Like this. Hmm. Going in with two hot tails. Who can I ever be serious in my life? Well, anyways, this is almost like the full look. So, I received it was very thin. So, let's go for our shoot. So, this was the set before the shoot, and this was the set, you know, when it was time for the shoot. It was so simple yet so pretty. It was giving like this cultural slash forest vibe. At this point, the photographer wanted to achieve like a smoky look. So she got her assistant and my sister to blow powder. The end result was so cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is blue again. How smoky you want to be? What is this? You want to be? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. As I mentioned earlier, this outfit made me feel like I was going for like some kind of cultural day, so I just kept dancing on sets. I, I don't know why I do this. <laughs> 
I also I took about like 500 poses. Okay, I'm joking. It wasn't up to 500, but like I did a lot of poses and the photographer was so patient and you know, you could tell that she obviously knew what she was doing. This close up made me look so serious. Like you even know I'm a goofball at all. This was the end of the shoot and I was pretty much tired, but I had to change to the second look ASAP. The second look was like a leather dress that my sister Jill's fashion, you know, made for me. And I paired it with silver jewelry because, you know, I felt they really complemented each other. This dress made me feel like Agbani Darigo and I was ready to walk the wrong way. I had a little bit of trouble choosing earrings to use, but I ended up going with like with the drop in one. At this point, I was already tired out and to make matters worse, I started having period cramps. Like, I literally wanted to cry, but I had to keep it together because, you know, I'd already paid money for the shoot. Again, shout out to my photographer, Oma Visual. She even came to set to even tell me how to pose because at, so, at this point, I was just like totally tired. I wanted to wrap things up. I was able to put in a few more poses and, you know, she also like came up with some new concepts on the spots, which I readily agreed to. I also added this mini top to kind of switch out the outfit style a little bit. And to the glory of God, we completed the shoot. Okay, just finished my shoot and it was kind of long, took about two hours. Makeup was already one hour, uh, about two hours too. But it was an interesting shoot and the photographer was really helpful. I totally recommend her. Check her out at Oma Visuals on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed my vlog. I can't wait to see how the pictures look like. Alright guys, see you in my next video. Bye!